we just got the boat loaded up we are getting ready to head out to Catalina Island it's about a 12 to 13 hour straight motor north from here to San Diego should be a lot of fun so come along with us Catalina Island is roughly 76 square miles with 42 miles of coastline and it's right off the coast of Los Angeles. Now there's two main areas to visit. There's Avalon, which receives the brunt of visitors, and then there's Two Harbors, which is where we like to go. Now Two Harbors has a general store, there's two little small restaurants there, and it's really set up for cruisers because it has this nice, relaxed vibe. And plus, it's an awesome playground for kids and adults. There's incredible fishing, snorkeling, hiking, diving, and just really a great place to relax either on anchor or on a mooring ball. One of my favorite things about this trip is the anticipation. Getting the boat all packed up and ready, starting the engines up, and pulling away from that dock. In this case, we'll be leaving at 6.30 p.m. Should be arriving about 8.30, 9 a.m. the following morning. Hey, making dinner. Show everybody your new shirt. Oh, this one? Cool, Mom. Uh -huh. So we're off. Uh, 12 to 14 hours to go. We're motoring out towards Whistler Buoy. Then we will hang a big right turn and head north. And right now it's absolutely beautiful conditions. Super calm out as we're heading out to the ocean. Uh, the wind is, let's see, wind check, seven and a half for uh, true wind speed. So, so far so good. We'll keep you updated. Good morning. Let's see, it's 5.46 a.m. here on Sunday morning. We are just outside of Catalina Island. Whew, it was a rough night. Super bouncy, bumpy. The boat, uh, the bow of the boat just smashing into waves. This sh little short period wind swell was no joke. Uh, we're about 11 hours into our trip right now we probably have about another three hours to go we hit before we hit our uh, mooring at two harbors but it is an absolutely gorgeous morning and it's been very cold uh, as you can see i got a jacket on i got a hoodie underneath my uh jacket i've got jeans on socks shoes um but the morning is beautiful take a look How were the waves last night? Oh god. <laughs> the boat was slamming, the bow the bow was slamming against the waves. And so we saw shooting stars. I saw shooting stars, like seven or eight of them, and I I would wish for the waves to stop. And then would stop. And then would start again. So then I would see the next shooting star and I wish I would wish again for the waves to stop, and then it would stop again, and now it would come back. I love coming up the backside here, Catalina to Two Harbors, just super glassy, quiet, sun is out, kids are up, they're enjoying their morning breakfast of Lucky Charms, and just anticipating, anticipating the mooring, picking up that mooring ball, because we are almost there. Once we get settled in the mooring ball, it's time to blow up the paddle boards, get the dinghy prepared and ready, and bring out the fishing poles. And before long, the back of the sailboat looks like a parking lot. It doesn't take long for total relaxation to set in, and now you are feeling the island vibe.
daily routine quickly became heading to the beach in the morning, paddle boarding around, snorkeling, diving off the boat, enjoying the sunsets in the evening. Pinching my camera, dude. Hold your hand down like this. I can see. Oh, my Flip them over. So cool. Oh, my goodness. And then I found this. You wonder where you can see all of him. Maybe we'll get a picture out of it. Can you make pancakes? Oh no, look at the fish. Oh, fish pancakes. Yeah. Wow. There's great fish right here at Two Harbors. What I like to do is take the dinghy out, head out to some of the kelp beds, or even ship rock. And a lot of times you'll catch calico bass, bonita, and even uh, yellowtail from time to time. Hey guys, everybody's doing well out there. We're on this hike here at Isthmus Cove, and uh, I think we're gonna hike over to Cherry Cove. Take a look at this amazing view. It's lunch time here on the boat, so we got a little snack of freshly caught bonito pokey with some chips and uh, some sriracha. So it should be pretty tasty. And you forgot to mention that Max, while you were gone, caught about 10 fishes. One of them was a perch. So he is going to have fish tacos for lunch. Max, how was it to catch that perch? Good. Really? How many fish did you catch? Eight. Good morning, guys. Kind of a sad day. We are leaving uh, two harbors here in Catalina. We are heading back to San Diego. So I got another 14 hour run ahead of us. Uh, looks like it's gonna be really nice calm conditions. Um, sun should come out. Hopefully we'll find some fish as well. Super glassy out right now. We've got three poles running. Uh, just got um, running cedar plugs. See if we can catch anything on the way back to San Diego. Uh, we've got about 10, 11 hours to go. Uh, the wind is directly behind us right now and there's really not much of it. I think there is 1.3 knots of wind. 
Uh, it is early in the morning, so I don't even think it's 9 a.m. yet. But just an absolutely gorgeous morning, waiting for that sun to come out and shine on us so we can shed some of these jackets. Uh, it is fairly warm though, just a little bit of a chill in the air, um, but not bad at all. So let's cross our fingers and hopefully we get a, a good sized fish on so we can make some pokey. it is but it's it's pretty healthy Where's the gap? I don't know where the rat. Are you kidding me? There is no way. That's a tuna. It's gotta be. How are we gonna bring it up? Uh, the gap. Where's the gap? The exactly. Bottom of the, bottom, the bottom. The of very the... bottom of the lazarette. Yeah. This is the lazarette. I don't know how I can get to this bottom. The fish is huge. Yeah, it is. <gasps> it's got yellow bottom. Maybe a dorada. Can't tell. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Yeah. We have the anchor gloves here. Uh, Point. This is a tuna. It's tuna? Yeah, it's a big one. Okay. It's getting tired, I think. Cody, can come. Well, we gotta get up under the rail. I'll help you. Oi! <gasps> oh my gosh. Got it. Yeah. Oi! <clears throat> Go to come, go to come, come baby. Come, come, come. stay here. Josh, come on, come on. I got the line. I mean, I got the. Super dangerous. Super okay. dangerous, I know. Do you want a second glove? Yeah, here, get the second glove right here, Josh. Josh, get the glove. There's more fish there. You know what? Yeah. We can move this top. Josh, give me the knife. Koda stay, it's right there. Korinka, okay. come. No, no, Josh. Koda stay. Koda, come. Koda, come. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was a fight. It was a big, big tuna. Uh, I don't know how how heavy it is or how much it weighs. I, I'd say it's got to be. We'd say at least 50 pounds, Josh. Yeah, it's the biggest fish I've ever caught. It's the first fit which fish we've caught this year on this boat, which is crazy, and it's a tuna. Unfortunately, we don't have any ice or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to go fillet this beast here after I drink a beer and then uh, we'll make some fresh sashimi and um, put the other one in, uh, put the rest of the fillets in the uh, freezer. All right. Okay, we don't have beer, so it's not going to be a beer. 
It's gonna be something else, maybe a cold margarita. I do have those. <laughs> this is how big this fish is. <laughs> Good picture, hurry, it's heavy. Got it. Got it. Don't lose him. Well, guys, we are officially back in San Diego here at Point Loma. Whew. It was a long one. I think we're at 13 and a half hours already. We still got another hour to get into the slip. But man, the water is glassy today. Very little wind. Just motored the entire time. We caught that huge tuna, uh, which was incredible. And now the sun is, uh, is, is heading down. It's going to be setting soon. So just an absolute incredible trip. Catalina Island two harbors highly recommend it if you've never been there make sure to go and check it out uh, and also if you uh, like this video please take a second to subscribe help us grow our channel support us and everything we're doing and I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome awesome day out there and we will see you next time